Well, it's almost done here. LCS Spring Split Week 9. We're on the first day. I'm joined right now by Sven Skarin. Or do you just go by Sven now? Uh, I go by Sven, Sven Skarin, Dennis. What is the official game player name? Sven Skarin. Okay. Because I feel like people only... This coverage is brought to you by Alienware. So, seems like it's you guys, TSM, and TL. And TL looks like they're falling a little bit. What do you think of that? Um... I think maybe teams have just adapted a bit better to playing against TL. I think we as a team as well have been scrimming them a lot and just I think from scrims we can kind of see that TL is looking a little worse than like us and TSM right now but obviously every time we face TL on stage they just have our numbers so can't really say too much about it now but yeah it's three teams that's super strong right now at least. Are you, do you still feel like you're able to beat TSM? Because it does feel like there's a bit of a triangle where you guys beat TSM, TSM beats TL, TL beats you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I guess our playstyle is, is better against TSM's playstyle, whereas it's worse against TL, so. Yeah. Well, what, I mean, today you just played FlyQuest, and that, I mean, they they looked pretty good in the past couple of weeks, but you guys pretty much shut them down. I feel like it was like a 24-minute game. Mm -hmm. What allowed you to do it so convincingly? Uh, I think we're just able to play very confident and... We had a good week of scrims, so going into this game, we kind of got what we wanted in draft, yeah. so we knew exactly how to play the game out, and we just didn't let them get away with anything stupid. Like, they started dragging up, and we are just like, well, let's just go kill them. Yeah. So we were just able to play very confidently, I think. You seem a little lower energy today than normal. Are you tired? Are you sick? Are you, are you just ready for the split to be done? <laughs> You're tapped out at the end of this week nine stuff? <laughs> um, you know... Maybe I just need to get another Red Bull. Okay, good. Yes. Great. You plug the sponsor, checkbox. No, I mean, are you Is it? Are you ready for the split to be done? Because it does seem like you're a little... Maybe you're ready for this interview to be done. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, no, no. I love interviews. Okay. But I think... I mean, obviously, it's end of week nine, so getting a few days off would be nice. Yeah. Which we've secured the playoff by, so we're actually going to get a day off, so that's pretty nice. And... We're, I'm not even going to be playing tomorrow because the academy team is going to be playing instead of us. So. Has this been announced? No, but I assume this interview is coming out after it's being announced. So. Well, it's coming out in 10 minutes now. No. Uh, all right. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. We get told that if we manage to win the game, then we'll just get a day, an extra day off. So maybe that motivates us to uh, just get it done pretty quickly, yeah. too. Who do they play tomorrow? It's against Clutch. Okay. Well game that doesn't matter for anyone, I feel like. Uh, well, we'll have to sit through that tomorrow. Anyway, so that's happening. You get this time off. Do you feel like, in the past I've asked this question, sometimes it feels like having the buy might not be a great thing because you, you kind of miss out on that week. It's maybe easy to lose the tempo or the beat a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely see both sides of it. I think if you have rookies or something, getting not getting the buy is pretty important, whereas you need to get more players play time on stage to actually improve but I think in our team right now getting to read what the other team is doing like we actually get to see what they're playing on stage is pretty valuable as well and just getting that extra one week of practice and scrims before you have your match on stage because in the past it used to be like you actually have two weeks or something to practice but now it's literally next week playoff starts so yeah. it's you're still in your current LCS form when playoff starts but we're actually going to be able to work on things for two weeks so we're going to be actually able to achieve our playoff form rather than just being in the same LCS form. Now, do you get two days off, or does taking the Sunday mean that you don't get the Monday? Uh, currently, I believe we get two days, okay. so Sunday and Monday. Okay. What if it's like if the academy team loses tomorrow, you guys don't get Monday <laughs> off? Like that, that'd be sick. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That should be what Reaper, like, re it forces you guys to be like, okay, team, here's how you do this. Please win for us. We need the extra day off. Yeah. That'd be sick. <clears throat> Any other surprises for you this split? Anything that's gone the way you didn't expect it to go? Uh, I mean, GG has made playoffs. I think that's pretty cool. Haunts did you not expect it? No, I mean, I did not. After they went 0-4 in the beginning, it looked like they were still this 10th place team, but I think Haunts was able to maybe... Maybe bring some confidence into their team. He said, like, yeah, playoff is a given, and then they're able to make it, even though people made fun of it. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. He now feels like he can beat any of the teams. I interviewed him earlier. 
He's, he feels like any other. Oh, you're laughing right now. You don't think this is true. Gigi just can't beat any of the teams. Uh, they might be able to beat some, but okay. <laughs> not us. Okay. Who who can't they beat? Uh, I know they can't beat us. Okay. Maybe they can beat Echo Fox, okay. Optic, or something. Okay. Well, I don't. I'm, we're not sure yet if Optic is making it. They might make it, but uh, uh, you don't think uh, they could beat a TSM or a TL? Um, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you, you you seem to disagree with that idea. I mean, you, do you guys still talk? Yeah, I talk with Kevin quite a lot. But talk none of the other, you don't talk to with Bio or Peter? Uh, not as much. Okay. Uh, not at all? No, I mean, just at LCS sometimes, but don't really reach out to them. Okay. But me and Kevin still talk, me and Bjork still talk, so. I mean, it's pretty impressive that CLG might make playoffs, which would mean, like, Bio would be in... Kevin would be in, you're in, TSM's in, like it, yeah. Peter's in. It's an interesting sort of way that that has occurred. Would that be fun for you? Yeah, that would definitely be nice to, if I were able to play against either Kevin or Bayern playoffs, that would be pretty cool because it's only been me versus Björk in double F so far. So, yeah, it would be pretty cool. Yeah. Take him out. Pretty good. Is there anything that you want to say to any of the fans out there? Uh, thank you guys for supporting us. Love it. Short and sweet. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. We're wrapping up the split. I hope you enjoyed the interviews that we've produced during Spring Split 2019. This is like my sixth split of LCS, dear God. Either way, I wouldn't be here today. That was not planned at all. If it wasn't for Alienware, thanks so much to Alienware uh, and uh, U.GG for helping support. Absolutely support. agree. Could not agree more. Yeah. What you, I thought you left. I'm about to leave. Okay. That's uh, for, uh, all things esports. Check out uh, travisgafford.com or something. I don't know actually. What's what's what is it? youtubecom Gafford. You got it. instagramcom Gafford underscore. Uh, flickercom Gafford. Yeah, that's that one's a little not safe for work. Um, uh, how are you? Hey, I'm great. Want to turn this into a double lift interview? Sure. <laughs> what? No, I can't. What? I have to go. <laughs> I have to go. Let's have soda for yeah, another yeah. day. Okay. You guys lost. Yeah. Well, now you're turning it into a double up interview. Yeah. We did. Life sucks. Yeah. You should stop trolling. No, we're not trolling. We're, uh, just just uh, some BGs. Okay. You know, sometimes you're hot in solo queue, but then you go on a, a, a losing streak and you're like, damn, am I really bad? Actually, you That's know us right now. You know what I've noticed is that your losing streak coincides with the new Path of Exile season. That's true, but I'm still hitting uh, the same solo queue or more games than my teammates. That's time efficiency right there, boys. Yeah. But maybe your mind isn't in it the same way. Maybe That's maybe true. you're spending your, your time off, like when you're in the shower or you're driving somewhere, you're not thinking about League, you're thinking about Path of Exile. When I'm getting interviewed by Travis Gafford. Yeah. For an outro. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to use this. You're so not. Very, oh. Okay, bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>